What's good, DG? You know it's 4L, Dolphy Gang for life. And if you're new to the channel, please like, comment, subscribe for more content. We five subscribers away from that 1K. So please do me a favor and subscribe right now. I would very much appreciate it. I will give out a prize if you reach that 1K. All you gotta do is like, comment, subscribe. But today, we're gonna be covering Easy e my boy, not the rapper, Easy e on our team. Also, we're gonna be covering Chan Nintendo and Liam Eichenberg. To start off with, Easy e he been snapping during practice. He caught several passes. The former Red Raider secured a short catch off balance, put his hands down to stabilize and let the defender fly by as Izukama stayed up and turned it into a long run after the catch. And that's exactly why Mike McDaniel had got him out of Texas Tech. That's what he showed on film. And that's what he good at. If you take a look at his high school film, you can tell that that's what he really specialized in. If he was smaller, it would look way better on film. But the fact that he's tall and he's doing that, people kind of look at him weird. But he really is capable of doing that. He probably got to get in the league and marinate in the league so he can get used to it. And watch how he snaps in the league. Watch, trust me. Guys his size don't really move like him. Here on this one play, he had went back to Texas Tech, his alma mater, just to go work out. And look at his perfect route running skills. Look at his release, his get off, his hands. You see, he's trying to trick the defender with his hands. It looked like going the other direction, but he went the opposite direction. He got the ball. That's a good route runner right there for a guy his size. When you're smaller, it's easier for you to do that. Going in and out of breaks, but he's doing that at 6'2", 200. Even though Devontae Parker's snapping right now with the Patriots, I like the fact that we got a guy who could run after the catch. Devontae Parker wasn't really that type of guy. He was a high top guy. But Eric Izukama, he could do that too. But with our offense that we have right now, it would be best for us to get a run after the catch type of guy instead of a high point guy. I love Devontae Parker with all my heart. Look at Eric Izukama getting more work in. Look at him in and out of breaks. He, I don't know who that DB is, but he don't deserve to be on that field for sure. He's either he that good or he just that trash. Who knows? But I'm pretty sure Eric Izukama was that good. We got a special one in Izukama. I really feel like we do. We just got to tap into his potential. Use him well in this offense. Get him used to it. We're going to see how he works with us. Here's what Cedric Wilson had to say about Eric Izukama. Uh, it's physical. I like his energy. Uh, I like how he's he's uh, turning into a pro at a young age. It's, um, it's good for a young player like that. Chan Nintendo, he been flashing too. When we first started practice, he wasn't really making much noise. And Landon Roberts was. And everybody was getting worried. But now, slowly but surely, he been coming on during practice. Making play by play by play. Each practice, he's making play by play. So he's working his way up on the depth chart. Duke Riley doing his thing too, but seeing our third round pick do his thing, Duke Riley not going to be here forever. But Chan Nintendo, he was the first person that our coaching staff has selected when they first got here. So he already got that connection. So he's going to be here at least four years. So hopefully he could work his way up here up so he could start with Jerome Baker and we could have probably a potential top 10 linebacking duo in the nfl because they do have potential to do so i like the fact that they both are versatile tendo just has to work on the coverage but he has the athleticism to do that with that 40 with that vert everything we just gotta wait and see if it could come easy to him where to the point where it's natural to him i feel like that's what happened to jerome baker People who don't believe Tindo could play on the edge, but he actually really can. Do not doubt in Tindo on the edge in some packages. And look at this one play in the singer bowl during practice. I know it's practice, but this is Channing Tindo. He got a nice get off. He a little bit too high, he, but he okay. He know how to use his hands. Swim move over to the quarterback. Yeah, he definitely got potential to pass rush. We know that for sure, and especially with that speed. All he has to do is get around the lineman and then just chase whoever we got back there because we got DBs who could cover. So whatever defense that faces us, you don't got that much time to do anything. You better make a quick decision before it ends up in a sack, an interception, a forced fumble, anything. So that's why I like the fact that they picked Tindall. 
I see what this coaching staff trying to do, trying to get straight speed on the team, even on the old line. We don't have the fastest old linemen, but that's what they've been getting, like lean, slim old linemen. Teron Armstead ran a 4-6, I believe, in the combine. Liam Eichenberg, he not that fast, but he a slimmer type of guard that we're using right now at 300-6-6. Robert Hunt, he athletic freak. Connor Williams, athletic freak. Austin Jackson, athletic freak. That's what they want on the O-line. So we're gonna see how we're gonna see how all that speed work together on this team. And last but not least, we got Liam Eichenberg. Liam Eichenberg found a way to get that orange jersey. And I've been shocked ever since I seen that video of him in an orange jersey. Because normally old linemen do not get orange jerseys, but Liam Eichenberg ended up getting it. Somebody told me Liam Eichenberg looked like Mr. Incredible. And I couldn't unsee it no more. Like I might start calling him Mr. Incredible, but you have to be incredible in that field for me to call you that. But I'm happy that he got that orange jersey. That means the O-line is making improvements. They not like how they was last year. And I feel like Teron has something to do with that. Just coaching them up, seeing how they doing, making sure they doing the right thing every day. That connection, that bond. Also with Austin Jackson, he's down to 8% body fat. So he been doing what he had to do during the off season to become better during the season. So I, I really appreciate Teron Armstead coming in and helping our old line because we really invested a lot into this old line group so we gotta get a return on our investment so that's why we paid teron armstead them big bucks so we gotta get a turnaround for whatever we invested in i remember teron armstead said he gonna bring drew Brees for a tour probably size wise uh he's taller than drew uh his legs way bigger than drew's for sure so we got some big <laughs> that's that you know that's samoan Mm -hmm. the poly life you know you got a you got a bigger lower body um i'm going to connect those two i already talked i talked to drew i talked to two already you know going, going to connect those two during during training camp because so hopefully that ends up happening we see that one day because two will need all the help that he can get we already got him the weapons the line kind of the defense now he just need the goat in his ear talk him up so we could go to a lot of playoffs you know hopefully win one like he did and win more after that but we will see because they're both similar qbs as far as playing styles so if Tua can inherit that we'll be fine for a long time as Tua as our franchise qb if not then you already know we got two first round picks next year so we know we can do something with that. Liam Eikenberg even speaks on how he feels comfortable with this new offense. You know, when my phone rang, I was, I was extremely excited. You know, the Miami Dolphins is where I wanted to go. We traded up, so we're gonna make you a Miami Dolphins. For me personally, I feel like I fit this organization very well, and especially the coaching staff and the players here. And that's probably why he's been performing well. I like Liam a lot, man. He wanted to come to Miami. This was his dream. So hopefully we make that dream come true. I've been proud of these young guys. We have a lot of good young pieces on this team. Not a lot of people can say that they have, and we gotta take advantage of it, to be honest, or we'll just be mediocre. Hey, what y'all think about these rookies? You think they have the potential to be great? Yeah, let me know in the comments. But always, you know, DG, you know it's 4L, Dolphin of Gang for life. And once again, please like, comment, subscribe. Help me get to that 1K. I'm gone.